All right, so I'm kind of obsessed with different keyboard layouts these days and I wanted to find the ultimate keyboard layout for me. So I started watching some videos and came across these popular keyboard layouts. I actually used almost all of them except this one right here. Well, just by using them you cannot get an idea what's, what's best. I wanted some numbers and that's exactly what this keyboard, I mean this application does. In the sample output one, let me actually run that in the, in the console. So I'm going to echo hello, it's going to print whatever the value. But this time I'm going to pipe that value to another process, the, the application we have created, keyboard layout analyzer and oops. Okay, now we have the results. So we have finger movements. When you type hello, you, you will have to move your fingers three times with QWERTY for H, E, N, L, oh, sorry, H, E, N, O characters. Um, but for double L, you don't have to move your fingers because when you're touch typing, you should have one of your eight fingers on L key already. So obviously you don't have to move. Um, and there is same finger usage. When you type L on the last two characters, you, you will be using the same finger in quality. So that's actually a big disadvantage and I'm calculating that number as well. Then we have no movements as I said to type double L. We are pressing L key twice but we are not moving the finger. Um, then we have other types of movements up down left right. Top right for example T with quality is a top right movement. So that's the basic idea and Let's run it on a uh, some some serious application or some serious text. So I'm going to. This is the number of words we have. We have fifty-eight thousand something words, and I'm going to run that or pipe that to our application. And these are the results. So we have with quality we have finger movements. Um, 32,000 something. So you have to move your fingers two times when you are with uh, when you are using QWERTY than, um, compared to Colmac. Big disadvantage. Actually, the the worst keyboard layout here is QWERTY, the default one that comes with uh, comes uh, with most operating systems. Then same finger usage again high in QWERTY compared to Colmac. Then um, no movements. This should the the higher the number is, it's uh, it's better, you know. If you don't have to move your fingers, um, then that's better, obviously. With quality, uh, nine thousand something, but in Call Mac, twenty six thousand. That's so much better than quality. And I mean, even compared to other keyboard layouts, Workman and Hal Mac, again, um, Call Mac is better than all the other keyboard layouts. So finally, I'm going to call the winner. Winner is Call Mac. At least this is the one I came across um, uh, to be the best keyboard layout. And that's it. Um, by the way, if you want to use these applications, I will uh, put the link in the description. I actually have one more application that's uh, keyboard layout status, and it's it does exactly the same thing but written in Python. It's more likely that you would have Python on your system and if you have you don't have to uh, compile and install you just run using python i think that's better so yeah we have two applications that does exactly the same thing uh, you can use whatever you want and instructions are in the readme file to install and run and that's it thanks for watching have a nice day